The developing world needs huge amounts of money to address its many problems with health, housing, education and more. But a new report says corrupt practices by multinational companies, their government enablers and others are depriving people of a better life. VOA's Jeffrey Young has more in this segment of his ongoing focus on corruption. A financial watchdog group, Washington-based Global Financial Integrity, says astounding sums of money are extracted every year from African, Asian, and Latin American nations. GFI's new report says that in 2011, some $947 billion was taken out of these countries through what it calls illicit capital outflows. GFI Director Raymond Baker says the 10-year total is even more staggering. Over the decade, uh, from 2002 to 2011, we're talking about $5.9 trillion that have moved out of the developing countries. Um, and, and nothing is so harmful uh, as this loss of capital uh, to the poorer countries of the world. GFI's report says China tops the list for that decade with just over $1 trillion in illegal outflows. Russia was second with $880 billion. Mexico came in third with nearly 462 billion extracted. The highest ranked African nation was Nigeria at 10th with more than 142 billion. Different corrupt practices contribute to these illicit capital outflows, says Alex Cobham of the Center for Global Development in London. Partly it's about the proceeds of crime, and that's the laundering particularly of drugs, uh, drug proceeds uh, and the proceeds of human trafficking. But it's also, um, corruption itself, which, uh, you know, the, the theft of state assets, that tends to be a very small uh, component. The largest component on almost all of the estimates we have for almost all of the countries is commercial tax evasion. Both Baker and Cobham say that tax evasion is largely accomplished through something called mispricing of trade, undervaluing minerals, goods and other exports to tax authorities. Mispricing of trade also provides an avenue of corruption through false invoices providing kickbacks. Sub-Saharan Africa is especially hit hard by illicit capital extraction. GFI's report says that in 2011, that region lost 5.7% of its gross domestic product, largely through tax avoidance done by mispricing natural resources and manufactured goods. Global Financial Integrity's director says developed nations must take the lead to reduce the massive extraction of capital that keeps some states and their people impoverished. The short answer to curtailing the problem of illicit financial flows is transparency. Greater transparency in the global financial system. This means get rid of disguised corporations. This means automatically exchanging tax information across borders. This means companies reporting their sales and profits and taxes paid in every jurisdiction where they're in business. Baker and others say that if developing nations could get their fair share from what is produced and extracted, they would have much more money to spend on public health, schools, housing, and other essential needs. Now for more discussion on this, we're joined by VOA's Jeffrey Young. Thank you so much for that report. Thank you. Well, 947 million lost in 2011 alone, more than 5 trillion over a 10-year period. This is a, a, absolutely alarming. This is the money, as my report said, that should be going to housing, to education, to public health, to improving the lives of the people who live in these countries. And instead, it's being extracted by multinational corporations through the help of their government enablers, as my report said. Yeah. And it winds up in the bank in Zurich, or the bank in London, or the bank in Dubai, or someplace like that, anywhere but in the homes and the lives of the people who live in these countries, who work at the very places where this is being done. I'm so surprised to hear that corruption is the smaller problem. It's really tax evasion that is really the source of this Ill illicit uh, capital outflow. This is true. May, many major corporations have what are called tax departments. Mm -hmm. Tax departments specialize in figuring out how to move the company's money from one jurisdiction or one country to another country to minimize the corporation's tax exposure. There was an, a case involving Apple that came up a couple of months ago where there was some question about revenues and monies that, were, that was being put through their subsidiary in the Republic of Ireland mm -hmm. as opposed to some other part. But when you move the money to a country that has low taxes, 
you're, you're minimizing what the corporation has to pay. And that's part of what the shell game is, and that's no pun on shell oil in Nigeria. Jeff, I don't have you for too much longer, but it seems as though the solution here is transparency. But it seems that that's what is lacking on both the multinationals and the governments. Why? Well, you might say that it, there's a certain mutual benefit to the way things are now. The multinational corporations save a tremendous amount of money. The government officials who look the other way and don't audit the books that closely, perhaps they get something out of the deal. Uh, the status quo works for a lot of people, but the status quo isn't right. It's amazing how much is being lost that could really go towards such good causes. But thank you very much for bringing that to our audience's attention. And of course, that is Jeffrey Young, who joins us here on Africa 54. And um, we want you to, of course, let us know what you think about Africa 54 and the stories that we cover. Please join the conversation on Facebook. The address is Africa 54 on voaafrica.com.